Right, Shalom Yasharala. First off, we'd like, let's like to start off by saying, Kahalayim Lakhawa, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Lakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. And salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring the truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Karab. And this is the brother Yakalam. And here we, we're here to do another lesson, all right, going in on this lesson, Lord's will at its edifying. Right, and as you see on the screen, it says humans don't deserve the earth, but it's not humans that don't deserve the earth. It's Esau that, that don't deserve the earth. All right. And why is that? Because Esau is the wicked. And with them being in, in, in rulership, you know, as the scripture says, um, when, the, when the righteous is in authority, the people are rejoice. But when the wicked is in authority, the people uh, mourn. All right. So, you know, uh, the, the world is in a mourning state. All right. Why? Because it's given into the hand of the wicked. All right. So I would like to start off with the first scripture, which is going to be uh, Job. 9 and uh, 24. Con, con. And this is Job. Like the brother said, 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. And if you look at this video, you can even tell who the wicked is. You know, it's a, it's a so-called white man. It's an Edomite. That's right. Uh -huh. and, the, and this video is basically telling on itself. You know, it says humans don't deserve the earth, but yet they only show Esau going through the earth and destroying it no because his blessings was with, uh, was with the sword all right in, in, in the fatness of the earth all right he was blessed and he was going to rule the earth by by the sword and have dominion over the earth and and you know the scripture also says um you know i'm gonna bring it out real quick um habakkuk 2 and 4 behold his soul which is lifted up in him so like let me start from the top behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith. All right. So they said the soul of the Edomite is not, is not, is not upright. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it lives, it's, it's wicked. All right. He's a wicked. He's a wicked. Uh, he's he's basically Satan's counterpart on 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 on, on this side, the physical counterpart. All right. To do to do the the deeds of the wicked. All right. To do the, the evil works. All right. And with him doing the evil works, best believe the, the earth is going to be in in its worst state possible. All right. So calm, 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 calm. And I just I wanted to add on to that, that it goes to show that their soul is not upright. Even watching the video, it's like they're just going around killing animals, huh. using them for sport, poisoning our food as you look at the fat fryer, mm -hmm. and then just going all over the earth, just doing wicked stuff, killing animals for no reason, just to chop their head off, and and I'll put it on a mantle. It's it's. It's just wicked. Con, I got another precept just to back you up on that that food um situation. All right, um, so like, give me one second. Con, brother, while he's looking up the precept, you know, as you can see in the video, look at all the toxic waste and the 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 um the um animal testing. Like the animals are minding their business. The Lord didn't create these animals to be tested on. They all serve a purpose in our ecosystem. Oh, that's right. All right, this is um, Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them, all right? So that's what the Lord the Lord uh, said that he's going to, uh, we're going to eat our defiled bread amongst the Gentiles, all right? And Gentiles is talking about the heathen nations, but, you know what I'm saying, also uh, Esau, you know what I'm saying? Esau being the wicked, all right? Because they're, they're testing, they're doing um, the GMOs, they're, they're, they're testing on, on foods, and, and, and when they dispose of it, they, you know, they put the, just like all fences, like McDonald's, you know, with the meat, they, 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 they it's, it's from the, it's from the, uh, the, the bodies that are, that are missing, you know, they, they put it in the, uh, the patties and the sausages, oh. and then they feed it to the masses, you know, and they says one billion, is, um, one billion, uh, um, burgers served, you know. Con, 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 and that came out the mouth of an elite that he did in an interview where he called in, and he was letting people know, so that's not stuff that we just made up, if you do a little research, you'll uh, find all those facts. Con, scripture said to study study to show that self approved you know? Because you, once you start studying and you start understanding that, you know what I'm saying, you're looking for the answers, guess what? The Lord says, seek and you shall find, you know? So when, when you look for the answers, you're going to see that Esau is, 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 the, is the main one orchestrating all this wickedness on the earth. Con, and, with, and the main, especially with the wickedness going into the defiled bread, if you really look into your ingredients, they put pork in everything, in everything. just huh. to cause us to go off. Huh. All right. So um, let me let me um, bring out this precept. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked when the wicked are multiplied, transgress transgression increases. 
but the righteous shall see their fall, all right? So when the wicked is multiplied, when Esau was in power and it was brought into power because they said um, uh, uh, when, when, when the Greeks came into power, uh, the um, wickedness multiplied, you know, so, so with that, and uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's because of, of, of the Edomites and their wicked ways, you know? You know, with, with them uh, increasing and then multiplying, obviously the, the wickedness is increasing because it, it goes from having one demon to having a uh, hundred demons. And then you got to realize that it's just going to get worse after that. All right. That's why the Lord also said be, uh, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, you know, and in and, 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 and the sin and in and, and the sense have reached into the heavens. All right. Con, con, con. And going into the end of that precept that that brother brought out, we are living in that time. Con. That us being righteous are the one righteous up. We're part of that whole full elect that we're going to witness his kingdom be destroyed. And, and you know, I want to back that brother with um, 1 Maccabees 1 and 9. And this is going into um, after Alexander the um, creep died. It says after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. And that's going into his uh, generals. And it says so did their sons. After them, many years and evils were multiplied in the earth and this is the outcome of that right now. That's right. It started back then during that time. And this is what we got now. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to bring out Amos 9 and 8. All right. And it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushat, are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off of the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushat. All right. So he said he's going to destroy the earth because of the wickedness that, that that's in the earth, that's going on in the earth. All right. But he said he would not destroy the, the house of Jacob. Why is that? You know, because the, the you know Jacob, uh, the, the 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 nation of Israel is is we are we are the righteous, all right. We are the righteous. You have the two thirds amongst us. You know they say not all Israel is of Israel. So you have the right uh, the the two thirds that are among us that take on the ways of, of Esau and these heathens. But for the righteous, the the, the elect, you know that the Lord ain't gonna destroy utterly destroy us because he's gonna he has a place for them. He has a a, a spot reserved for uh, for rulership for them. All right. And that's how we're gonna. That's when it's going to when the um the righteous and authority of people rejoice. When King when King Solomon ruled, the earth was it was in peace. You know, uh, especially uh, we was the, we was the uh the um basically we was at the spotlight. You know, everybody wanted to be like Israel. You know, everybody wanted to be like uh King Solomon. And wanted to know how King Solomon ruled his uh his his um his kingdom. All right. But as you see, with Esau, that's the same reason why Esau is mad, because Esau see that, you know, these things are with us. Uh, the blessing is with us and it's not with him. So guess what? He's going to try to destroy everything that's rightfully ours. Con, and because of that, to back to brother going into Obadiah 1 and 8, the Lord says, shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau. It's going into the destruction. And this goes to show that, you know, what they did to the earth, and more importantly, what they did to Yasharala, they're going to have to pay for it. Going into verse 9, it says, And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shall be cut off forever. And that's going into these so-called white people, these Edomites, biblical Edomites, they're going to be cut off forever. The Lord promised Shasharala everlasting life. Con. Said that we were going to be um, 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 prince of powers. But for Esau, you know, after they serve out their slavery, according to Revelations, he who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. They're going to be put to death. What's the, um, you know, the, what's the name of uh, Esau in Hebrew is Aishashua, which is wasted away, is he? All right. So he's going to be wasted away after after his um thousand years of slavery, him doing him. Because the Lord said, uh, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity, all right? But also when that scripture has said, um, uh, the violence against thy brother Jacob, you got to remember too, another act of violence is is destroying uh, your, your brother's property, all right? And, and the Lord said, the earth was made for our sakes, you know? We were the form of all things, you know? So with Esau destroying our property, that's another hate, toward, that's another way of showing hate towards us. Con, con, and that's something that a child does when they know they're not going to inherit something. Con. They go around and they just destroy it and they don't take care of it. Because that's Esau. Esau's a, a big ass child. 
All right, and then he has the ways of a child because, as you can see, when they go into uh, the story of Jacob and Esau, they say how Jacob was a man that uh, dwelled in the tents, and Esau was a cunning hunter. You got to remember too when you see when you when you line up and you add up the the, the characteristics from Esau to the to the so-called Edomites. I mean, the, the Edomites were the so-called white people in this time and day uh, in this time and, and day, right? You see that they go out and they kill off these animals just for sport, as his brother had mentioned earlier. They kill off the animals, and what they do, they 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 they, they apply it to something else. They, they you know what I'm saying they they just leave it there, or, or they probably use it for something that it shouldn't be used for. You know, when we when we when we um when we um use animals, when we kill off animals, basically we use it as sacrifice. But guess what? Even when it was a sacrifice unto the Lord, it was still used in its proper way. You know, it was con con uh, con. And I want to back to brother with Job thirty and eight. Where it says they were children of fools. And what does a fool do? As you watch in this video, he's going around destroying the earth. Like he's not living on it. Like he's huh. just visiting and he's going to get in his rocket ship and go to another place. He's staying in the same place that he's destroying. Huh. And it also says they were children of base men. What is a base man? A base man is not supposed to be in rulership. Huh. He's supposed to be a servant. Huh. And it says they were violent in the earth. And if you look at this, come on, man. Like the video speaks for itself, you know these 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 Edomites don't deserve the earth, and they never did, and they're gonna have to pay for that. That's right. Um, Job himself said he wouldn't have them to dwell amongst his dogs. Why? Because Esau's wicked, and he he's, he's a nasty ass. He's a he's a pedophile. He's a homosexual. He has that nasty ass mentality where he would probably want to sleep with the dog, sleep with the dogs. All right. So it shows you that you can't even trust a man around your dog. How much more around people or your property? All right. So all right, with that. We just want to end it off on that. So I want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Power, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Makar Kadash. I get to Wadi Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai for putting the spirit on us for doing this lesson. And I want to say shalom to the hopeful elect out there. Shalom. shalom.